Shocking, disturbing, but true. It has been going on for a while. It has been seen as obvious, as normal, yet it carries with it health hazards that are risky. Shoes have been seen by many as a luxury. Many have considered it a commodity for the rich. Shoes are not a luxury, rather, they are a necessity. Without shoes, there's a level of dignity that is not acquired. You are exposed, your feet are exposed. That means that they're exposed to danger in terms of wounds and even infections as well. And also there's a certain feeling of nakedness. I was crossing stream in between my home and the school. And because we used to go running all the time, you want to be in school on time. I hit my big toe against a stone, you know, on small streams, stones form the crossing. And my big toenail came off. It was back in 2008 when my friends and I uh, were in Madare. We wanted to do a project and we wanted to work with the school. As I was taking pictures, I realized there was a major problem. When I later on checked the pictures, I, uh, the kids were properly dressed, but their shoes were severely worn out. And others didn't even have shoes at all. So that's when we realized that it has been a problem going on and uh, it has, people has, uh, have been thinking it's pretty obvious or rather it's, it's really normal for kids to go to school without shoes or to wear shoes that are worn out and we decided to change that. So the Gizma group together and I uh, decided to come up with a campaign and we called it Natembea Campaign. Natembea Campaign is a campaign to raise as much awareness as possible on the importance of footwear in Kenya sensitizers on the health hazards that occur due to lack of shoes. When children walk barefoot, especially when visiting the latrines, they are at risk. Infections from parasites and other microorganisms are likely to occur through cuts by sharp objects like nails and broken glasses that they get due to lack of shoes. Poverty has caused many to ignore the fact that shoes are really important and children are overly exposed to that factor. Tumemia sana, hata tukielekea shuleni, taumia, kuelekea kwa msalani, taumia. Most adults can manage to get shoes, but they tend to think that a child being barefoot is normal and part of growing up. Natembea is here to educate parents, teachers and the community that shoes are as important as other necessities. The Gizma group is a group of youth who came together to change, develop and motivate fellow people to lift, to uplift their fellow people. It's simply motivating Wanainti to uplift their fellow Wanainti because we have so many uh, people who have shoes they don't even wear. Now that's the point, we motivate them to donate their shoes so that someone else can wear shoes. Gizma consists of 14 youth who are dedicated to making sure that all underprivileged children will always walk in shoes. They visited a school in eastern province, Tala. Chaume Primary School, which has a population of 1,012 pupils and only less than 10% had shoes. These children have been living their lives and even visiting the latrines barefoot. But it was a jovial day when Natembea campaign donated over 1,000 pairs of shoes. <laughs> Come away, wait. 
The smiles on their faces were beyond every imagination possible. Some wore shoes for the first time ever. They got an opportunity to learn comfortably and stay in school. I love football so much and I want to praise you because you have given me shoes and I'll be playing football and I want to play like Mariga. Natambea campaign this 2011 will interact with more than 5,000 children in Kenya. They will visit five provinces and donate over 5,000 pairs of shoes. Ambassador Julie Gishuru will work closely with the Gizma Group. What's most important about this is that it's about a young group of people called the Gizma Group who noticed that there was a problem with shoes in this area for children and decided instead of being part of complaining, they decided to find a solution by looking for partners who would be willing to help and we've raised 1,000 shoes. Always remember, all shoes.